Yet again, Crytek and Hunt Showdown devs have informed us that another event will be delayed. The Tide of Shadows for Xbox and PS5 is delayed. It will not be out today as I am speaking. They said it will take us a few days. We don't know how long that is. The one event that we had before this had major issues where it was delayed a week. And then we got reimbursed extra time and some blood bonds. Uh, we don't know how long this is be. We don't even know what the issue is. So at this point, you know, when I saw the dev stream yesterday, as soon as I saw that all the communities I am in for console players blew up with frustration. Um, again, it's another event with another issue. And it's just very frustrating for the console players. We never see anything really an issue for PC players other than, you know, cheating stuff with reshaders and maybe some gun issues. But it always seems to have a major effect on the console players. And again, as a console player, it is just very frustrating. And I'm making this video just because I am very frustrated on what is going on right now with Crytek and almost every event that they do for Hunt Showdown, that it cannot just all go as smoothly as possible. There has been only some a select few of events that have gone off without a hitch on console which is great but every time you're just like uh oh is this one going to work or is it going to be delayed and you just don't know and it's just getting to be frustrating now getting to the good of the update new guns the drilling rifle should be a great update to the game i think it will be definitely a medium to close range weapon on console not sure much on pc we shall see pc players can get a little bit more accuracy whereas console players for this gun particularly it is a double barrel rifle with a shotgun under barrel so that means you're going to have to have pretty steady aim we don't know how fast the bullet velocity is i haven't seen anybody play it as a streamer as of today just seeing what i'm seeing and giving my input definitely think it will be a close range two tap with if you miss the second shot you can definitely blow them away with the shotgun ammo underneath so it's definitely going to be a different one while you're trying to push somebody if they have this it's definitely going to go across your mind that they have three shots instead of just two um just like a normal shotgun now to the gun i'm very excited about the upper mat this gun seems to be very cool. It's a two-handed medium slot. I think this is going to change everything that is going on in the community with, you know, having a pocket rifle on console. Going by what I saw in the clips yesterday during the dev stream, it doesn't seem to have much sway in the sights. I'm not 100% sure when we actually are able to play it or I can see somebody in a stream playing it. I'd love to take a little time to be like, hey, Look at the, how much it's swaying or look how much it's not. I mean, you're getting two hands on maybe what it does probably about 129, 120 for the uppercut. So maybe it's about the same range, uh, which would be awesome. But now you have to realize that maybe with two hands, it is much steadier. Um, definitely on solos and console players with no sway on such a awesome type of gun could be really useful. Um, especially if you're running it with like a shotgun upper mat in a solo or even if you're in a team using long range with that even if it's the medium you know silence new winnie uh, that would be a pretty cool choice to have with that you have a silence long range and if they get too close i mean you could probably just beat them up with the upper mat um, maybe even bring in a melee um, i mean you have huge options with what i'm seeing um, I can't wait to really see it in action to see if the sway is really there or if it's not. Um, like I said, the clip was so short in the dev stream yesterday that I do not know if that is the case. The only other thing about the update I would like to talk about is I saw some posts about the bomb lance. Some people worried. I'm not too worried about it unless you're fighting the boss because it can now blow up underneath water. Um, and going by the dev stream, you have to be a direct hit or basically right next to them for it to kill you. The drop off on the explosion isn't that great. It will be useful maybe if you're camping a boat extraction where you can blow stuff into the water as somebody's trying to extract and they don't see you and you have a good enough aim to kind of get it close enough to them where it kind of halts them in their tracks and maybe backs up. So you can get a clean shot with a gun or just try to shoot another bomb lance by the time they extract and you can get there before they extract. Um, would be great. So that was the only thing I'm really seeing with that. I know a buddy of mine was asking me questions about it and I don't seem to be too worried that this is going to be a huge issue or a great update for the bomb lands.
That is all I really have. I just want to vent my frustration on the new event being delayed for console players. It is very frustrating. I love these events. These events are fun. But when you are now just watching from the sidelines where PC players can play, it just gets you really frustrated and upset and just like, hey, I really want to do this, enjoy this new event, especially with the new boss. I hope that this delay does not affect us anymore. And I really can't wait to see you in a bayou and maybe we will run into each other in a fight in the bayou. Have a great one.